this year. But one of the good things is that the response has been heightened this year. And it began with teachers in Wisconsin who seized the Capitol in the first occupation, an occupation within which inspired us at Occupy Wall Street. And now we see the boldest step by teachers in Chicago who went out, uh, I think it was uh, 25, 30,000 of them. Yesterday there were 25,000 people in the streets and seemed to have won. <laughs> so a victory is what we need. And they won because they're a democratic union and a militant union uh, where the rank and file took over two years ago. Now, we started out in Occupy with one labor group, but labor has been so responsive to Occupy and there have been so many struggles that we now have six. Working with, one works with immigrant workers, one works with teachers, one works with people trying to organize, one sets up picket lines for a, a 99 pickets for a variety of struggles. So there's a great deal that Occupy has been doing uh, with labor. Uh, the Chicago teachers have revealed that the attack on them is definitely coming from the 1%. There are organizations of hedge fund operators that are funding the attack on teachers, including Democrats for Education Reform, which is a few blocks up on uh, 21st Street, and it's hedge fund operators who want to take over the schools and make money off of them. We've seen this year workers being locked out, and Occupy has gone to support them. The Teamsters at Sotheby's, who it took months before they got back on the job, but we were there with them. The Con Ed workers, who, who were locked out. Uh, the Longshoremen in Washington, whose union 